Drown yourself in the neon You came to this place to hide away in the dark You tell yourself you need to move on But when not in the shadows can ease your broken heart Hello my night wolves and welcome back to another video on my channel And today we are here with the paranormal stuff pack and before we get into it a little thing i need you guys to watch um last video was a little bit too long so i ended up cutting out a lot but also we are close to the end so i should have just I, you know what, I should have just put it all into one video, but I didn't. So yeah, let's cut to past me where I ask this guy a whole bunch of questions and I read them all out to you and then we'll be right back. Why are you here? So we can ask him actual questions. Uh, why are you, why are you here? What's up with those creepy objects? What's the deal with specters? What's a paranormal investigator? Who are you? Any advice living here? Can I make this place less spooky? How do I become a less how do I become less scared? More choices. And then these ones I can't do. You must be flirty to say this. Are you trying are you saying that I have to hook up with this ghost to be able to say these stuff? I don't know. Wanna have a drink? Someone terrible, someone terrible appeared, help, I'm terrified, help me, I can't get a ch chance to eat, I may have sold my soul. What are these, where, why do you have to be flirty? Why do you have to be flirty to say these things? Are you, like seriously, are they trying to get me to hook up with a ghost? I'm gonna ask these questions. Why are you here? Who are you? So he's always flirt. Is he always in a flirty mood? That's my question. Ooh, we get a story. Well, in case it wasn't immediately apparent, I'm a ghost duh. And ghosts need to haunt somewheres. If I can crash here for a time being, I'll help you out with all the other haunted ha haunted ha happening going around here. Oh my god, I can't talk. Or read, apparently. Um, normally ghosts don't haunt a house unless they lived in said house, died in said house, and then haunt said house because they lived set in that set in said house, or they are attached to an object that was brought into the house, making it haunted because they are attached to an object. Either they are attached to an object within the house. Or they lived in the house, died in the house, and that's why they are here. Anyways, if I can crash here for a for time being, I'll help you out with all the other haunted happening going around. If it'll scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Sounds like an idea, but if you're sick of old Gar Garderary, I can't say his name, you can prevent me from appearing with that weird hand statue you might have seen. I won't fuss no questions asked. I'm one of the good gu good guys, remember? I'll understand if you need some space. So I can disable him or enable him. Got it. But you can call me, can I just call you Rini? Because that's kind of easy for me to say. I'm a bit of an expert in the paranormal and I'll never turn down a chance to help someone in need. I've been chasing after the unknown all my life and after life. Let me know if you need any help. Who knows, maybe they're the manifestation of the lost dreams and ambitions of mankind, or maybe I'm reading into things too much. One thing I do know is that they love presents. If you manage to make them happy, they'll cough over something useful and put in a good word with the rest of the entities of the house. So if we give them something, they will give us something in return. Honestly, just embrace it. Collect, specter, loot, purchase, reward, store, items, stomp some dolls, stomp some dolls, and if you need a, to scream your lungs out, 
occasionally do so. It is part of being alive. Just savor it all. Seekers of the unknown used to be one myself a lifetime ago. I've always been interested in things that bump in the night. There's even an organization out there that recruits certified paranormal investigators too. What? Really? I have to look that into that. If you can prove your super spiritual medium skills to me, I might just be able to get you certified. Woo! So if I can prove that I'm a medium, he can get me certified. She has a scar on her forehead. Um, and I just didn't even think about telling you guys this. She has a scar on her forehead. She got that scar from an actual ghost. Um, she had a ghost attack her when she was younger. She was about a teenager, so she wasn't that young, but she was still young. She, she, she's always been able to see ghosts since she was really young, but she never had one physically attack her. Yeah, so since she was young, she could always see ghosts. And her grandmother could also see ghosts, so her, she was really close with her grandmother. And her grandmother passed away, and she was a teenager, and she was starting to do this stuff, uh, get used to seeing ghosts and talking to them and whatnot. But her grandmother didn't taught her some stuff, but not enough, and what to do against gr aggressive ghosts. So she had an aggressive ghost and she didn't know how to handle it and the ghost ended up attacking her and she ended up getting a cut on her eyebrow. She didn't do any of like the medium stuff is like that because after she got attacked by that ghost she started to get scared of them and didn't want anything to do with the ghost and stuff like that. But then she realized that the more she tried to deny her abilities Things around her started taking the turn for the worse, and they start the ghost and everything around her. All the spirits started to get aggressive towards her because she was denying her ability to see ghosts and her her being a medium and stuff like that. So she, of course, now that she's a young adult, she grew up and she realized that, you know what, this stuff isn't going to go away no matter how much I ignore it, no matter how much I say that the, the ghosts are not there, they are there, obviously. So she's now embracing her medium and she wants to get really good at being a medium and help ghosts and stuff like that. Okie dokie, welcome back. I am sorry for this little, I don't know. I was like, not going to add it, but I'm like, I need to add it because it helps with this pack that we're playing. So we asked him a whole bunch of questions. This guy came in flirty AF into our world and we have to be in a flirty mood to even ask him certain questions so we can go here and then it does all these questions i only asked a few of them i didn't ask all of them and then we can ask these ones but we have to be flirty so yeah here we are back with this we had some things popping up around the house and i got rid of them like kind of like immediately when i noticed them but at the same time, I kind of want to see what would happen if I didn't... Ooh, what's this? And it says, get this thing out of here. Also increases the spiritual serenity of the house slightly. I don't know what that means. So it's an airy hands. So yeah, these look like hands, which they do. It's creepy. So, I'm not going to get rid of them. I was thinking of getting rid of them, but like I said, I want to see what would happen if I didn't get rid of these things. Would, like, more spirits show up? Will more, more like, non, like, nice spirits? We had these little um, floaty ball things. They were doing, like, they were just, like, super cute. We saw them in the last video. Ooh! Oh, this one's red. This one's red, you guys. Attempt to commune with this guy because he does not look happy. He angry ghost. I think it's because I didn't get rid of that hand in the back. So now their ghosts are angry. Okay, so this says haunting a message from communing with the dead. Ali received a warning from the beyond. So yeah, she's scared. She's like super happy right now. Deep com communication and pretty tasty so she made something really good 
Oh, and it made her playful. <gasps> oh my god, we left it and then suddenly all hell broke loose. What the hell? Oh my god, look at it. It's, eh, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so menacing looking. I took a picture of it and now it's gone. Oh, nope, there it is. So this guy is angry. Probably because we have this still there. So they're like angry, 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 angry. But if I get rid of it, they will probably calm down. I want to see, am I right or am I wrong? So let's go ahead and get rid of this. Stop talking to that guy, please, for the little guy. Go and remove that. Let's see if we can get this guy to calm down. He is so angry. So angry. What happens if he sets my house on fire? That'd be interesting. Did that help calm you down? Oh, wait. Did he leave? But, okay, maybe I, when I got rid of it, it got rid of him. Um, can we get rid of him? Disable visit enable heroic mode heroic mode offers an extra challenge for daring sims haunted houses become rapidly worse over time double the reward store points earned Ooh, ooh, yay okay so i'm gonna take the and put the heroic mode on put your braves bravery to the test in this mod in this mode i was about to say mod sorry in this mode the spiritual serenity of the haunted house will diminish faster at night increase paranormal activity and wake up angry specters thankfully you'll be rewarded with more reward store paint points after each successful night but be warned, you won't be able to change out of horror mode until after some time has passed. What is your decision? So if I turn this on, I would not be able to turn it back off until like some time has passed. You know what? We're ready. I'm ready. Okay, horror mode is on now. Oh my goodness, this one has glasses, you guys. Oh my god, that's so cute. We had an angry one, then we got one with glasses. So now the lights are flickering on their own. There is stuff in the ward, uh, award thingy that they were talking about. This one's new. Sa sa sacred candles. Sacred candles that help calm nearby sims and ward off evil spirits. Become a certified paranormal investigator. Unlock the paranormal investigator free lands career and the summon garden. Oh my gosh! So if we get this one, we can get do a freelance career. So there is a career for it. I thought there wasn't a career, but there is a career. Yes, we need that. We need that one. We need that one. Sims with this trait aren't as easily frightened. Brave Sims regain their compassion faster than most Sims and don't mind being near supernatural beings such as ghosts or skeletons. Oh, skeleton. Oh, do we? Oh, we're going to get a skeleton. Interesting. So we have like three new traits. Yeah, three new traits. So we're going to get all three of them. But as you can see, I have no points. So what was that from flickering lights? Allie knew this place was haunted, but some things are creepy no matter how you slice it. And then goosebumps from getting spooked. Allie can't help but notice this place is a little haunted. No shit. And uh, something ain't right from being near haunted painting. So far, even though I turned it on, nothing really scary has happened. Obviously, our girl is, like, frightened to all hell. Her energy is a little bit low, but not too bad. I kind of like that she's a night owl because that's when most things happen. So I won't let her go to sleep until, like, during the day. I love you, Garden. I will call you back when... Oh... Garden's farewell. Once activated, Garden will no longer show up at the haunted house. He won't take it personally, and you, you can always undo the decision later. What do you say? Garden, I need some space. Garden, don't leave me. Uh, I need some space. Maybe we should offer soul. I want to see what this is all about. Ooh, this one talked to me. 
Or did the other one talk to me too? No, this is the only one that talked to me. Hi, how are you? Oh, I'm just here hovering and stuff. <laughs> so this is the only one that talked to me. I don't think the, in the other one, I don't think in the other video, the other ones talked to me. So I, I said every more, ooh, we got points. So every night, the things will get worse, it said, and we'll gain points, which we just did. We got 525. Can we buy anything? Sacred candles. Sacred candles that will will help calm nearby sins and war, war off evil spirits. But I kind of don't want to do that just yet because I want to see what else this has to offer. Like, I want something scary to help happen. She's level three. You know what? They got these pots here. We might as well buy seeds. Might as well because I got nothing to do and we might as well do something besides sitting here twiddling our thumbs. Okay, so I was going to just have her have a whole bunch of money, but I decided, you know what, we're going to slim her money down a lot. So now she has little to no money and we're going to just make a garden and that's how we're going to make our money. <laughs> because why not? Give her something to do. Garden during the day ghost hunter by night because why not and then after she's done doing that we'll come and commune with the dead Ooh, summon the dead onto the lot results may vary we can provoke the dead um we're gonna commune with the dead though no. <laughs> i'm not ready for that just yet all right Ahem, meeny, miny, mo. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. Bundle gum, bundle gum in a dish. Oh, bubble gum, bubble gum in a dish. Ooh, bubble gum, bubble gum in a dish. How many pieces do you wish? I love that game. I love that now that she's a little bit higher in her medium, she can float. So she is trying to provoke the dead. Oh! <gasps> We got sad spirits, it looked like, you guys. So they came and then they left. And I was like, gonna talk to them, but they're like, ah, peace out. And I'm like, okay. Oh my god, look at her face. She looks like a scarecrow. What was that? I heard like a baby sound. We don't have a baby in this house. Hello? Uh, baby? Something creepy happened. We heard a baby cry. Ooh, attempt communication. She's gonna t attempt to communicate with a right what is it called again specter they're called specters should we offer it our soul should we offer a sad looking ghost that looks like he could probably kill us because he's depressed he looks so depressed and sad should we offer a sad one our soul or should we wait until a green one shows up again and offer that one our soul okay so our girl's coming back inside oh we have a green one okay hold up Hold up. Okay, we're going to offer our soul. Let's see what happens when we do that. <laughs> it's a, in a box. What? Put that in inventory. And then sad. Something feels missing from offering a piece of your soul. Losing a piece of your soul isn't that most please, pleasant feeling. At least that specter made good use of it, right? So we got this, and it says, Spectre Sip. Take a sip of the most cool, refreshing drink there is. Spectre Sip. Ha! Ah, soulful and fizzy. If you've ever drunk a part of someone, somebody's soul, you'll know that their memories and general is, is essence come with, with it. So get ready to sponge it all up and reveal, re re revel in the str strangeness. Ugh, sorry, I can't read for some reason. Drink, put away. And when it was on the ground, it had a whole bunch of more options. So it says sell to Aud oddity collector, put away, view. So let's drink it and see what happens. So she's sad about this. Look at that. That's so freaking cool. So she's drinking it. Ooh. Wait. Achieve level. Achieved her herbalism level three. Ellie can now brew soothing skin palm. Wait. When did she start learning herbalism? I don't know. 
But she learned herbalism. So she drank that. What did, what happened? Ooh. Spectre sloshed. Sloshed. You feel strangely more experienced as if the memories from another life poured into you with a rush. <gasps> so she got somebody else's soul? So far, this is day two of the thing being active and um, the heroism thing, and it's not that bad. Yeah, we had that one scare earlier, but it's not. It hasn't been that bad. Okay, nighttime has come. So we're going to invite over our friend. But well, they're not really our friends. They're just people that we know. Oh, everyone is here. Okay. So now we're going to go do a seance together. Yay. I can only do it with Kyoshi. Why can't I do it with everyone? It says group seance. You would think that you could do more than one person. Commune with the dead. How about we provoke the dead with everyone? I, again, I can only do it with two people. Why can't I do it with more than one? Why can't I do three people? Why is it only two? Whatever. Let's just do it. Oh! <gasps> we actually got a ghost, you guys! What's your name? Felix Feldedid. Fel the dead. I don't know. Felix! Hi! Friendly introduce ourselves. He's angry, probably because we summoned him. And I don't blame him for being angry. So he is mad that we summoned him. I would be too, I guess. She's level Four, four you guys! Okay, so they're leaving, so goodbye. Thanks for coming around. Leave your corporal body behind totally safe. Uh, I don't think it's totally safe. Should we try? Let's try it. So we got this new one. Okay, so we're gonna try that. Oh, Kyoshi is leaving now. That's fine. Everyone left, that's fine. It's 12 in the morning. I see why they want to peace out. Ooh! <gasps> Where is her physical body, though? Ritual complete. Ellie's spirit has colossal with the afterlife. Wait, does that mean she's dead? Does that mean she's dead? Oh, no. Oh, no, our girl doesn't have a body no more, you guys. <laughs> she's dead. She, she died without dying. Our girl died without dying she i didn't know what that meant i just wanted to try every new thing and now she <laughs> i wonder will it wear wear off or is she stuck like this <sighs> maybe she won't be scared of the house anymore because she's a ghost <laughs> oh my god there's a summon this person summon the skeleton helper person oh no will it wear off Four hours. So, I, I think it's a ritual. I think it will wear off once the four hours is over with. Okay, okay, guys. I'm going to leave this here. Uh, <laughs> I made her into a ghost. But yeah, I'm going to leave this here. I don't want this video to be too long like I did like the last video. My bad. It was supposed to be only like 20 to 24 minutes. And it ended up being a lot longer than that. But yeah, so we're going to leave this here. A lot happened. A lot happened, and I'm super excited. I'm excited to see if she's going to stay like this, or will it, like I said, I think it will eventually wear off when the four hours are up, but we'll have to wait and see. I just realized, you guys, that I sat here, recorded this whole entire video without my light on. I'm sorry. I'm starting to get tired. I've been recording all day, so I'm starting to get tired. <laughs> And I forgot to turn on my light. But anyways, that's the end of this video, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you give, sure you give this video a thumbs up. Ring that bell if you want to see more videos from me. Subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you all you beautiful night wolves in the next video. Goodbye. Don't you know that you're beautiful?